at, at the Air Pollution Unit, we did experiments mainly with ourselves as the subject. And um, one of the experiments that uh, we were involved in was the so-called London Bridge Walk, where two of the team walked into the unit from London Bridge Station every day. And when they arrived, they immediately got into um, a contraption called a body plethysmograph, which was a sealed box that measured air airways resistance. And um, the idea was that we compared the pollution levels on that day with um, their airways resistance and see whether in fact um, there was any correlation. And that experiment went on for something like three years. Um, we also did experiments where we exposed um, ourselves to various pollutants and I remember being exposed to sulphur dioxide and getting bronchospasm quite severely um, and um, uh, really, it was thinking about it now. It was quite a dangerous thing to be doing, um, but we merrily plodded on and measured the, uh, our airways resistance and, and other parameters um, whilst um, breathing this sulphur dioxide from a from a bag. Um, other things we breathed were carbon monoxide, which um, I remember on one occasion was so concentrated that the um, the subject actually collapsed and that was the director of the unit he, he had to be resuscitated um, which was a difficult situation because he was the only medical person there so there was nobody with any um, first aid proper first aid experience which uh, in this day and age seems extraordinary but that was quite the norm for for, the, for that time and I don't think it was the only place where those kind of experiments took place.